Tucked away in a Minnesota river town is something you'd expect to see in Paris or New York. It is a museum with works by Van Gogh, Picasso, and Monet, to name just a few. But one of its newest pieces is one of the most famous paintings in the world. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lorson shows us how the Minnesota Marine Art Museum has become such a big deal in the art world. We look for art, great art, inspired by water. The Mississippi River is right next door, but the scenery inside this museum can be equally inspiring. We have art in here that you'd have to travel to Chicago, Los Angeles, New York, London, Frankfurt, Paris to see. We have it all here. The Minnesota Art Museum opened 10 years ago in Winona. It was the idea of local business owners and art enthusiasts to feature seascapes, waterways, boats, and ships. And with that came some of the most influential and authentic art of all time, including Vincent Van Gogh's first oil painting. He was so pleased with the results of this that the average person wouldn't know that this is his first attempt at oil painting. Even people who aren't art enthusiasts will recognize names like Pablo Picasso, and Claude Monet. He, with a handful of others, really encouraged other artists to paint outside. There are six galleries, including one that features landscapes. This one, done by Alfred Britcher in 1868, shows the Mississippi River and was painted just a few miles south of where the museum stands today. The addition of trees and a highway have changed the look just a bit. There's no place in the world that this painting belongs except for at this museum. And that's what makes this museum so intriguing, because here in southeastern Minnesota, there's now a piece of art that pretty much every American will recognize. I think this was on the cover of my history book in eighth grade. It's in popular culture, it's on the back of coins, stamps, books, it even made The Simpsons. German artist Emanuel Leutze painted three versions of the infamous Washington crossing the Delaware. One was destroyed during World War II. The other two can be found at the Met in New York City and at the Marine Art Museum in Winona. I get goosebumps. I literally get goosebumps to think that we have it here in Winona. The painting was on loan to the White House since Reagan was in office and had been on display in the West Wing, but it was owned by a Detroit art collector. Last year he sold it to two local collectors. They moved it from the White House to Winona. If you were to make a short list of the most iconic, most recognized American art, this would be in the top three. At one point, while countries like France and Germany were critical of their governments but fearful of speaking out, this revolutionary inspired American tribute was the most popular painting in Europe. It was in all the newspapers. Uh, it, it, it was a blockbuster before the term was ever invented. Now it's part of a different kind of blockbuster. Attendance has grown every year at the museum. People come to see the classics, but also the work done by local artists. Some of the exhibits rotate in and out, but many of the famous pieces now call this museum home. To see people when they walk in the door and have their jaw drop as they realize what they've just walked into. John says the museum has anywhere from 10 to 12 rotating exhibits every year. For more information on hours and prices, just visit our website, wcco.com slash links. That's incredible, isn't it? Who I didn't knew? Get, How I cool. Know. Love it. Yeah.